Rhapsody of Realities Daily Devotional, Thursday the 10th of October by Pastor Chris. The topic, Plead the Cause of the Nations. Our first verse. Put me in remembrance, let us plead together. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. Isaiah 43, 26. Many nations have been entangled in unjust debts and bondage over the years and as such can't free themselves because there are forces of darkness that are working against them. There are many under oppressive financial systems who constantly see their financial value deplete before their eyes as their assets become worthless. All these are man-made but instigated by spiritual forces. Except we stand in the gap and use the name of Jesus Christ to break the power and influence of Satan over these nations and peoples, nothing will change. We are the only ones who can stop them. We have to use the name of Jesus to confront and dismantle the works of Satan and effect a change. We must plead the cause of the nations. Isaiah 43.26 calls us to put God in remembrance and plead our cause. The Revised Standard Version says, Put me in remembrance, let us argue together. Set forth your case that you may be proved right. The Amplified Classic echoes the same truth. Put me in remembrance, remind me of your merits. Let us plead and argue together. Set forth your case that you may be justified, proved right. In the Septuagint, Isaiah 1.18 reads, Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. The message translation puts it even more plainly. Come, sit down, let us argue this out. This is what we do in intercessory prayer. It's an argumentative prayer. It requires us to stand in the gap to present strong reasons why things must happen in the way we want them to in the nations of the world. The nations of the world shouldn't be under the pangs of hardships, pain, terrorism or artificial food shortage. The nation shouldn't be entangled in unjust debts or oppressive systems. That's why we must be as earnest and passionate as possible about their causes. As we pray for them, there'll be legal victories for all such nations. So in your times of prayer, plead the cause of the nations. Declare that the will of the Lord prevails in the nations and they're extricated from oppressive treaties and detrimental associations. Take this seriously. Let's say this prayer confession together. Repeat after me. Dear Father, I pray for leaders of nations who have been subjected to unjust debts and detrimental treaties. that they are immediately liberated from such callous treaties. Thank you for granting them the courage and wisdom to make the right decisions and take the right actions that extricate their nations and people from the economic and political bondage imposed by wicked and unreasonable systems and individuals. In Jesus' name, Amen.